not grievous, not going to beat you up. It says, rejoice ye righteous. And what else does it say for y'all what we supposed to do? And shout for joy. Shout for joy. Amen. How do I shout for joy? You don't have to shout out now. Just have the joy of the Lord inside in your heart. Let that Holy Spirit be in, in absolute control, and you'll have joy. And how do you think Paul and them was strung out, foot, buck, naked almost, back blistering, and then what's coming? And they got the praising God in the jail. Yeah. Yeah. Shook the jail. Shook the jail. And stayed righteous. Didn't leave because a man getting ready to run in there and kill himself. He said, don't hurt yourself. We ain't going nowhere. And neither have the other prisoners. What did that? God. The mere joy of the Lord that they shared it abroad in the Holy Spirit got them men together. Next thing you know, they went to the man's house. Everybody got saved, didn't they? Everybody. Everybody. Uh, see what I'm saying? That's what joy can do. You don't have to preach to nobody. Have a little joy. Amen. Show some, somebody that God is in your life, no matter what. I want to show you that is, it, in spite of what went happened in Colorado, it's going, God will send somebody that can dispense joy and get them over that. Only God can do that. Only God. Only God, Pastor. Y'all better hear this now. Listen now. And shout for joy, all ye that are right, uh, that are upright in heart. Now, how can I be upright in heart? Obey God's commandments. What the book say? Hide the word. In your heart that you sin not against him. And on there you can hide it. You got to read it. But I, he didn't ask you nothing. He said read it. And then anyone lack wisdom, who they throw to ask? Then you have your preachers up here. I, I, I'm a gift to the church for one reason. To open up the scriptures. But I cannot make you believe it. And anything I say, you ought to check me out. It's very important that we do that. For some reason, if a guy on television say, they can tell us anything, and we run out and do it. Send me $50, and I'll send you this piece of thing here, and you're going to get over. But send your bills in, and all your business on there, and send it to them. They're going to burn it up, and every one of them going to get paid. That's not in God's word. Okay, don't get quiet on me now. That's just the truth. But let's get book on it now. Go with me to Psalm 4. We're going to spend a little time in there. And, and, and then we might do We're going to be in Psalms since we've been in a little bit in the New Testament. Let's break this thing down in the old. Psalm 4 and 1. Listen to what it says here. It says, Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Who did he give his righteousness to? Y'all said, said, he, he said, when, hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. God, in other words, he's obeying God to the best of his ability. He has righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me. See what I mean? You ought to be joyous about that. In other words, when we are at our lowest point, that's when God wants to enlarge you. Now, listen to what the book said. Don't say Mac, the Magdalene. Thou has enlarged me that's when right. I was in distress. Yes, sir. I let myself get a little too wound up well, in the nonsense of the world, and I got distressed because they said the economy is bad. And, and these folks ain't going to, and, and if, if, if so-and-so don't get in the White House, we're going to be in trouble. It, it's nice. You can vote for whoever you want to. God tell you to do that. But he more than vote for him, he told you to pray. Why do you think we pray for America? It's not because we're trying to show how holy we It's what the words say. Amen. Pray for them that have rule over you. Yes, it does. And if whatever you get is because that's what you got because you didn't pray. See, and then when you try to play with them and, and, and back something in order to get over, when, hey, that ain't going to work. You're going to get exactly what you prayed for, what you hustled for. But when you allow God, I can't make anybody do that, but before I go in that voting booth, I, or weeks before, I, I'm on my knees asking God, who should I vote for? 
And I will find out a little bit about what's going on. Yes, sir. It's very simple. And then when you walk in there, you're not walking under the auspice of any, any, any group, any influence of the parties. You're under the unction of what? The Holy Spirit. And then you ain't got to worry about nothing then. Hallelujah. Somebody help me shout anyway. Okay, you hear what I'm saying? Oh, let, let's go. When I was in my distress, have mercy upon me. He can't ask for mercy unless he knows God's mercy was renewed daily. And hear my prayer. Now listen now. Here's a very important verse. Verse 2. O oh, ye sons of men, Listen to what God said. How long will you turn my glory into shame? See, the, the thing now is, is for the intelligentsia is to knock God. Yes. And if you try to pull God up in your, in your campaign, oh, my God, they'll just go off and say so and so and so and so. And most of the Kenites and other folks who, 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 who are not acquainted with God's word well, bite into that. And what it says here, how long will you love vanity? How, God says, how long are we going to love nothing? That man, whoever you put your faith in, hey, nothing but a whisper. See what I'm saying? Uh, you said your life ain't nothing but a vapor. Just like he had to challenge Job over here. That's why I want you to read Job. Joe popping off, listening to what all them folks saying. And God said, wait a minute. Gird, come on, gird yourself up like a man. What's wrong? Where were you when I did this? Look around and just use plain old common sense. Why do you believe vanity that a, a politician, a president, going to change everything when he still got a whole house of representatives, all them different folks, and every one of them don't know God, some of them can't spell it. And they're under all kind of pressure. They have lobbyists and all that. You want a man in to know God at least. Amen. Now here's another thing. We, we must understand this when we decide that a politician or even a job or anything God says here and seek after leasing question in other words no matter how much you love that man and what you want to put in he's still on lease maximum if you love the president he can't be in that for two terms see what I'm saying we get all hung up in that but he can't be there for twice but God is there all the time. He said, I'll never leave you, nor forsake you. Is anybody shouting this morning? The guy in the Senate or the House, he can't stand, he can't go there for four years. But yet we put all that in there. It's just leasing. You, that's all you get. You might have your little way for, but it ain't going to be for four years. That's what we have to, do we respect the fact that, yes, we, we're great that we live in this country. It may not be all we live, but at least it's the best one. You see what I'm saying? But, but don't seek after leasing. Don't seek after some preacher that'll tell you what you want to hear. Amen. That's leasing, too. See, as most churches now, they're not preaching the word. All they're talking about is, 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 is who's going to be in what's called. I'm going to come up with little nice sayings about what this, that, and other, and so forth. I can't judge them. They got to do it before. I, they got to give an account for every word. every word. But when we assemble here, we assemble here to learn the word of God. That's not leasing. That's not who they're supposed to vote for. And what they're saying. What If this get in. And all they're talking about, I've been there. So don't tell me this. Song. That's all I heard. I was there for one dream, but then when the service started, I had to hear all of that. We're not, we're not seeking leasing. But listen what it says here. But no. Listen now. Seek after leasing, she lied. But no, that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. You're God's elect. You, you, we can get to it. He said, you didn't choose me. I chose you. 
The Lord, listen now, that's why I ought to have some joy. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Now here's where we, we demonstrate our love. And I, you can't do it for me and I can't do it for you. It says here in the fourth verse, stand in awe. Anything you stand in awe of, you kind of love it, don't you? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It says stand in awe. And there's a conjunction, sin not. Look what it says. Commune with your own heart. In other words, I can't do it for you. When you commune with God, that's when he opens up his word. I don't get it. Hey, I keep trying to tell you, when he knocks at your door and you open the door and let him in and y'all sup with him, hey, he's going to deposit in you something that will keep you in the path of righteousness. And, and, and upright with your own heart upon what? Your bed. The etymology of that is what it says. Sometimes we have to be alone. That's the one time, if you sleep good, that you don't have to be bothered with nobody who's to sleep. But even then, God can communicate with his child. He speaks to us in dreams. Anybody read the Bible? Yes. Mm -hmm. On your own bed, be still. Etymology of that, be still and know. She loves. Right. See, what happens is we run around yes. trying to tell God what to do instead of just being still and listen to him. Offer, listen now, sacrifices of righteousness. Wait a minute. That's all he ever has to do to do is be as right as you can and put your trust in the Lord. Listen now. There be many that say, who will show us any good? Question. Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. That's when you got joy. When you have acknowledged God and you have his countenance upon you. You illuminate. Some of you be walking in here. I can see it and you don't even know it. And, and you should. You should know when the Lord got his light upon you. You just shine. Well, you say, I don't see it. Well, you ain't supposed to. Others supposed to see it. What do you say? Others supposed to see your good work, and what does it do? It glorifies your Father in heaven. Others. But you ought to feel the joy of his presence. What we just read. In his presence is what? Fullness of joy. But some of us let our mind get so scattered on leasing and vanity that we miss out on the joy of the Lord, which is his strength. We read that last week, didn't we? Amen. Nehemiah 10 and 8, I think. Have mercy. Think about that, darling. Beloved, listen, seventh verse. Thou has put what? In my heart. Isn't that something? Who puts it there? Ain't no drug can do it. Ain't no liquor can do it. Ain't no man or woman can do it. I don't care how much they care they can do it, whatever. Because anything that's done somewhat out of wedlock, it becomes perverted and it gets unbalanced. Because a man, when he loves a woman, he's more concerned about her and vice versa. And then, and when, then we can join into God's reciprocity factor, which is so, the same thing you read. And I know we got young kids, and that's far as I'm going to go with it. But I thank God for knowing what I'm talking about. Hey, glory to God. Okay, put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increase. Oh, God just did a contrasting concoupling. The etymology of corn means that they seem like, you know, we, we'll look at the world and think they got all that in the bag of chips. I don't care. There's a lot of folks you think is multimillionaires. They only got they only multimillionaires on paper. That's right. Okay. Oh, they may seem like they run around in certain things, but I mean, some of them say. I've heard them say, you know, a lot of people thought I was rich, 
He said, but I was only rich only on paper. One thing went wrong, I was dead broke. But see, you see all these things, and, and then, but then this thing of the anxiety and stuff that they try to put it to hold it together for themselves, when if they ask God, God would lead God and direct them. And I guarantee you, you make far more money if it's God's will. Than it. No man on earth has been rich as Solomon. No Case closed, over out, and that's it. But we think that because we saw this, that, and the other, and Bill Gates, and all them big money, hey. But the one thing they do when they get that money, and they stay on top, they give some of it away. Which is what you sow, you get back. That's what the Lord said. That's one of God. And, but when God put that gladness in your heart, and, and, and their wine increased, you know, the good times, you see it on television. Everybody acts like it's so much fun, drinking this, drinking that. They don't tell you the end results of it. How many folks can take it? Might not bother them. One person can take one drink, and because of their metabolic setup, they're alcoholic. The best thing is don't, don't mess with it. But I can't tell you what to do. Let the Lord tell you. Listen now. Listen, 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 listen. I will both lay me down in peace. See, when gladness is in your heart, you don't go to bed all messed up. You got peace when you lay down. Amen. Lay me down in peace and sleep. If some of you don't know, that's where the Lord paid the Lord. So some of that comes. That, for thou, Lord, only makes me to what? Dwell in safety. If you ever get that in your mind, yes, I got an alarm system on my house because it broke in one time, but that alarm system is not where I sleep good. Amen. <laughs> I sleep good because I know the Lord. And whatever happened is the Lord's house. If he wanted to tear it up, that's the Lord's house. Because if he take that from me, he give me nothing. Amen. It is so simple. Now, now, some folks might think you're acting crazy when you talk like that, but you're not. You're trusting God because he's the only one that makes you feel safe. Amen. He is safe. Think about that. How many folks are so nervous that they can't go outside because they don't feel safe? But God will make you feel safe. Whatever you got to do, and God has directed you to do it, have a nice trip because you're going you're gonna to make it because God is with you. And even, and, and even if something would happen, you still don't have to wear absent from the body present with the Lord. Amen. Now, when you get to that place, you have joy. Then we read over in Romans that death has no more dominion over you. He said, God said, I didn't give you a spirit of fear. Where did it come from? Faith. Are we listening? I'm going to go to five. Like I said, I want you all to see. I, I ain't supposed to, but that's what I was going to cover. She kind of helped me out, and I got one more verse, one more little thing in Psalm to cover, and we're going home. You see what I mean? Because we need in Psalm 5 and 8, it's very important. This is why you hear me say, lead them, Father. Lead. It says, lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness. Why? Because of my enemies. Make thy way straight before my faith. We just read that. He want to take you that way. He want to lead you in the path of right. You got to follow. God, listen. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Don't believe some of these so-called preachers. Don't believe the world because there's nothing in them. Their whole job is to hustle you. And if you don't understand that, this is not to say you can't have anything you want, but you don't let that, that, that man get you so wrapped up in it that you run out and buy it. And if you don't think advertising got your mind, look how your kids act when they run by McDonald's. And that food means them absolutely no good. It's, it's okay to have a look, you know. Levenberg, listen to this thing. But let those that put their trust in trust in thee rejoice. Let them what? Ever. Not sometimes. Let them ever shout for joy. Why? Because thou defendest them. Let them also 
that love thy name be joyful in thee. When you love God's name, I, everything ain't going to be roses. No, sir. But one thing, no matter what it looks like, you still can rejoice. Amen. Because you know God got something good from you, for you. Psalm 130, we're closing out with this. It's only eight verses, new beginning. See, you know, what we just read doesn't matter. See, when we, even in our deepest trouble, look what God says there. Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. I'm not going to tell you sometime it's not going to get hard. But you don't, you don't look at hard because only the way of the transgressor is hard. Yes, there will be some troubled time. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ear be attentive to the voice of my supplication. Listen now. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquity, if God really held us accountable forever, he's so gracious. Yes, he would, Father. I said, if he marked iniquities, oh, Lord, who shall stand? Question. None of us could make it. But he set the word up, said, when you stumble, seven times a righteous man get up and, and got sense enough to ask God to forgive me on his way. But there is what? Forgiveness. With the, aren't you, aren't you glad about that? Yes, sir. My yes, God. Sir. That thou mayest. Now, 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 his forgiveness is not for us to be tripped. But look what it says now. Listen. But there is forgiveness with thee that thou mayest be feared. The etymology of that should be respected. Because even with all that, God still gives us joy. Listen now. Here's what we got to do if you love it. I wait for the Lord. Now, wait a minute now. I want you to grab hold of this, this next little statement. It just says, I wait for the Lord. My soul doeth wait. And in his word do I hope. Are you listening? Didn't say what I, Mac Daniel said, Minister Moe. Um, a Mr. Glow Pop, preacher, so on, so politician, who has, it said, no, the only thing I'm going to hope in, I have a right to receive that word and make my own decision, but now, when things don't go that way, you better get back on the hope train. Mm-hmm. And, and, and his word do I hope. Now listen, my soul waited for the Lord. My soul more than they that watch for the morning. I say more than they that watch for the morning. Meaning, you, you, in the morning, most of the time, us go to work in the morning. You know, all of us get so hung up, we're going to get to work on time, we're going to do everything, because we think that's where our hope's at. I'm not telling you, you're supposed to be more excellent than your neighbor. But your hope is not in your job. No, it's not, Let your Israel, and which we're grafting in, you can put your name there, hope in the Lord. Why? For him is plenteous redemption. Isn't that awesome? He got plenteous. You ain't got to worry about it. He never runs out. My God. Yes, Lord. Last verse. And he shall redeem Yisrael from all his iniquity. Don't that make you glad? Yes, it does, Pastor. Amen. Don't you, you ought to be, ought to have joy because God has paid for it all. Yes, he has. All he's asked us to do is abide in me. I and you, but without me, you can do nothing. Don't buy into all this vanity. Why do you think they get stars to sponsor or do commercials? 
They've got documentation. Okay, they go by their documents. That if I have XYZ start to do something, I'm going to sell 20 or 30% of my car. That's just the way it is. And yet God got a, a love letter to you that guarantees you absolute success. He won't look at it and he won't read it. It says in, in the book, Seek ye out of the Lord's book and read. Isaiah 34, verse 16. 